Before we met, you and I were halves unjoined, except in the wide rivers of our minds. We were each other's distant shore. We did not know the other then. We were apart, yet connected in our ignorance of each other. Brooke, I can still remember life before I met you. No matter how busy I was with friends, family, or work, there's always an emptiness. That was until I first saw you walk into my life on that wharf on Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're already crying. Yeah. Cal Leonard Johnson. I can't believe today is the day that I get to marry the man of my dreams and become Mrs. Johnson. Your dorky jokes and crazy ideas make life more interesting. You are kind and sensitive, but most importantly, you choose me every day. So, Brooke. <laughs> I get to speak for Mom. Mom and myself are so proud of you, and we always have been. When your children find true love, your parents find true joy. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Beautiful. I don't know if it's the affirming and inquisitive hello every time I get home. <laughs> from work. I don't know if it's the inconspicuous funny voices you casually weave into everyday conversation, <laughs> but I do know that I can now never go without those things in my life. I'd like to thank all of you for joining us today in this celebration of love and the marriage of this special couple. isn't even out here yet. <laughs> In the presence of everyone who are here with us today, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce that you are now husband and wife. Cal, you may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my extreme pleasure to present for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Cal and Brooke Johnson. You did it! You did it! I can't believe it! I'm in the club. I read somewhere that the most marvelous thing you can find in life is a best friend and soulmate in the same person, and I feel so blessed to have found that. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> you made it through. The last three years have been the happiest time of my life. You're the most important person in the world to me, and I'm overjoyed to call you my wife. <laughs> Cal, it's been a lot of highs for you today, but uh, I'm gonna deliver the lows right now. You are now no longer the biggest ham in the family. Everybody knows that now goes to Minnie. Every spring, Cal would dye his hair red. When Brooke came into Cal's life, there was a notable pep in his step. I noticed right away that he was happier and the red hair had vanished. <laughs> we get to know Cal a little bit and, and it's been mentioned a couple times. That I think there were some videos out there, uh, something about quarantine Cal, maybe. <laughs> is a support system for Brooke, and Brooke is always there next to him laughing, but definitely telling him when he's taken it one step too far. <laughs> the best thing I could say about Brooke is that I always wanted a daughter, 
And let me tell you, if I could ever have one, it would be someone like Bro. The sun surged towards the earth and moon escaped from darkness to bless the union of two spirits so alike that the creator had designed them for life's endless circle. We are the reason the world can laugh and rise from the ashes of its selfishness to hear me say, in this time, this place, I loved you best of all. <laughs>